Hey folks, it's Mike from Iron Shepherd Forge. Um, just finished making a couple of uh, fire pokers for a neighbor of mine. He uh, he bought one uh, a while back and really liked it. And I guess uh, one of his kids wanted to take it with them with their new for their new house, and he didn't want to give it up. So he asked if I could make a make a couple of those, and uh, so I did. And he he wanted one for himself, and then his son wanted one also. So uh, it's kind of nice. Um, so I was able to whip those up. Uh, some new techniques today. We're using the gas saver that I picked up a while back. Found the perfect use for it. And uh, it's going to be part traditional blacksmithing, part modern blacksmithing, part uh, modern metalworking because we're doing a little bit of uh, forging in the propane forge. We're doing uh, using the oxypropane gas saver for uh, to make the uh, braided handle. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of electric welding on here because it's just much simpler at this point and at this price point to uh, to do that for folks. I always ask. If you don't mind a little bit of electric welding, I blend them out, and then uh, we're good to go. If they insist on traditional forge welding, well, that's uh, priced accordingly. So here we go. Now here I'm knocking the corners in, and then I'm uh, going to set that up to uh, upset, and we're going to upset the end just a little bit. Now I'm flattening down the tip to uh, make the spade shape. Uh, we'll go back and forth uh, getting it straight and then we'll do a little bit of work over the horn. This is the final planishing, and then we'll see the uh, spade shape right there. And then this part here, we're going to work over the horn, and we're going to crisp up those uh, edges and keep the uh, back end kind of rounded using the, the horn as a backer. We go back and forth and clean that up. And there it is. Here I'm lining up for the twist. Uh, I'm trying to find my center punch mark. It's a little hard to see with the uh, incandescence of the steel. Uh, get my wrench on it and we're going to do a uh, four flat twist, which is one full twist over four inches in length. And then we'll uh, straighten the vise and uh, I'll use my uh, rawhide mallet on the anvil to uh, get it uh, nice and straight. If you don't have a rawhide mallet, uh, I can recommend using a hammer, but use it on a stump, and that'll keep you from damaging the, uh, the twist. I needed a mandrel to bend the 7 8 inside diameter ring, and a 5 8 spark plug socket works perfectly. It's 7 8 outside diameter, and it's got flats, so it clamps in the vise perfectly. Here I'm using the gas saver to heat up the middle two and a half, three inches of the uh, 3 16 round bar, and we're going to bend it around that uh, socket mandrel. Slide the uh, other bar across it and clamp the ring in the vise, and then we'll set up and start uh, forming the braid. Here I'm using the gas saver to heat up the uh, straight bar that I just passed through the ring, and we're going to fold one end over. Uh, 180 to the other side and then we're going to fold the other end back 180 this way toward the toward the camera and then we're going to fold the other two ends the same way across 180 and then we're just going to alternate going the doing the forearms that way as we build a stack which uh, you'll see develop here shortly in a uh, time lapse
when I get to the end, uh, two of the bars are uh, going to be difficult to bend up straight. They're going to want to come unf unfolded from the stack, so I use the end of a chisel to kind of hold them in place and press them out. And then we straighten all four out away from the from the handle. And you'll see the handle here shortly with the little uh, the four arms coming out of the top here. I didn't bother uh, showing the electric welding or the blending because that's pretty straightforward. But those are the uh, finished pokers. And then here's some zooms on the uh, braided handles. And you can see the areas there where the weld is blended in. And I think it disappears nicely. So here's the finished product. So we've got a 7 8 ring. This is out of 3 16 round bar. Um, all they had was cold rolled this time at the steel yard, but that's fine, it worked just fine. Uh, braided it using the, uh, the torch as you saw, and a little bit of electric welding right in here to fasten the handle to the, uh, to the shaft of the fire poker. Uh, blended them down, I think they look pretty good. Went ahead and uh, stamped my touch mark on there, and my last name. Uh, it's got a four flat twist, about four inches long. And it's got this little tapered tip. That's uh, that's the that's the final uh, that's the final product. Um, and I've got uh, got two of them right here. So they always say that making one thing is not too bad. Making two is a challenge sometimes. I think they came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks a lot. And this is the two fire pokers with the uh, original. Uh, I'll let you figure out which one it is. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to Iron Shepherd Forge. If you uh, like what you see, uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you uh, like following this content. And share this video around so that others will know what I'm doing here. Uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.